From the Carling Cup to a clash with the holders of the competition, as Martin O'Neill again pitted his wits against Jose Mourinho at the start of September. A locking of the horns that stretched back to the 2003 UEFA Cup final when Porto beat Celtic. This time it was O'Neill and Villa who came out on top on one of the most memorable afternoons of the season. It spelled the beginning of the end for the Chelsea boss and a dream debut for Zach Knight. Well, Chelsea play on, says Mark Clattenburg, the referee. Malberg got it away. Balmer with the clearance for the Villa. Well, like Phillips is asking a question because he almost gets caught under Lawson and you can see that the big defender, well, it's clumsy, it's inside the box and referee was right there. It's a fast start, this by Chelsea. And here they come again. Melba got something to that and it's deflected wide. Maluda's effort. Well, Chelsea, storming start. It's a brilliant delivery in the book to keep the ball in and keep it alive. And when it pops out to Maluda and fairness to Villa, they get plenty of bodies in front of the ball. I think it's between Gareth Barry and Obon the Hall. They managed to deflect it wide. Moore's attempt to clear his charge down. Drogba was blocked. It's fast, frenetic stuff. Balmer. Ashley Young, I wonder if this is going to be a big breakthrough season for him. It's a good ball in, and a very fine save, denied by Petr Cech. As the ball came into him, his first touch is wonderful, and he swivels and fires it at Petr Cech. Decent save from the keeper. It's Maluda. Right, Phillips, didn't really get hold of it, but the goalkeeper Scott Carson had to get down quick anyway. He does the first bit ever so well, right, Phillips just skips inside the challenge, and it might have just taken a slight deflection there, just off the advancing defender, made it slightly more difficult for Carson. One of the big problems for Villa last season, of course, is that they drew 17 of their matches in the Premier League, and that's exactly half. Ashley Young. Now John Carew. Barry swings it in. Agbon Lahore was in there. Young was nearly breaking onto it. Agbon Lahore again. Well, that's a threat from wide players who come in and become almost secondary centre forwards. He's trying to knock this down to, to Luke Moore. Agbon Lahore can't get the power in it, the shot he'd like. Jesse Mourinho almost looks bored there, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, he's probably possibly thinking about his half-time chap. Carew. Still good at this one. He's not a pacey type, but he's certainly got some power, all right. And that's bent and tipped over by Czech. It was a really very, very fine effort. Ashley Young. It took all the frame and ability of Czech to get it over the top. So we've got a bit of an Ashley Young v Sean Wright Phillips contest going on, haven't we, as well? We're both in the England senior squad. Barry floats this in, and this time he's in the back of the net. It's Zat Knight on his debut. Would you believe that? He's so commanding here, Zat Knight. He drives in the middle of him. Of a crowd of players and he's determined to get his head to it. He's determined to mark his debut with a goal. And there's nothing Ashley Cole can do standing on the line. And that's really shaken things up here. And now for Villa, it's about using your head. Young's got the better of Belletti again over there. It's Ashley Young and it's deflected home as well. Agbon Lahore. And 2-0, Aston Villa surely now have the points. You'd have to say Martin O'Neill's won the day with his tactics, with his formation, with his personnel. Ashley Young got the better of Belletti, played it in and Agbon Lahore finished it off. Yeah, I mean, it's a dream come true, it's been a funny old week, you know. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm just 
I'm, I think I'm lost for words, actually. But, I mean, it's, it's great to get a goal in your debut, you know, and um, especially to win it as well. I thought, the, I thought our commitment was um, second to none. I thought we kept going. Um, as some players were just um, uh, out in their feet towards the end as Chelsea went, got forward again in, in, in search of the equaliser. We got a little bit of luck to get the second goal at that stage. But we played terrifically, absolutely terrifically, and we had to right from start to finish. We, we didn't want to come here today, we didn't want to defend all the time. We come out to attack from the off, really, and I think we've done that well today. I mean, we, we have uh, some great possibilities in, in this team. We have a, long, a lot of good young players, and, uh, and I think we, we, we showed against Inter Milan in, in the last... Uh, Pre-match pre before the, the season starts that we have a, we have a good team and this, uh, this team can, can do well.